Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is investigating the disappearance of a Gibsonton man. The man's family says they have not seen or heard from him since February. News Channel 8's Annie Mapp joins us live from the Sheriff's Office today. What do we know so far, Annie? Stacey, the family of Roel Martinez tell me they have filed two missing persons reports with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. They say the 46 year old man is very close to his children. It would never leave the area without letting someone know. Those who know Roel Martinez call him clavado. The man originally from Mexico spends his time in the Gibsonton and Ruskin area. His brothers, his sisters um, asked for him and we can't give him any news because we don't know anything. Martinez's family and friends say they are worried, not knowing where he could be or if he's alive. His son is the last person who saw him face to face at a Gibsonton home on Palm Avenue. Somebody must know something, but it's just they're afraid to say something or somebody, somebody knows something. When family members call Martinez's phone, they now get a disconnected message. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. His family says he doesn't suffer from any health or mental issues that they are aware of. The man has lived in this country over 20 years, working in construction. Disappearing is not a trait he's known for. He knows people and people would, would have said, oh, I seen him at a certain spot and now nobody's seen him now? That's been two months already and, and nobody's seen him? That's weird. The family says they have reached out to hospitals, checked jails and put up flyers, but Roel's location remains a mystery. His family has traveled from Mexico and Texas to search for him. Uh, he wouldn't leave his daughter or his son. No, he wouldn't do that. I don't think he would. He would have let somebody know, oh, I'm going to another state to work. Now, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office tells me they are in contact with the Martinez family and are actively investigating this case, but they do say as of now, no foul play is suspected. Reporting live in Tampa, Annie Mapp, 8 on your side.